Other groups innovated by setting the Sherlock Holmes characters inside another universe they were fans of or were more familiar with. One example of this was the story Nowhere to Hide, which imagined Sherlock and John in the 1960s as characters in the cartoon series Scooby-Doo, a cartoon about a group of young people, the Mystery Gang, and their dog, Scooby-Doo, who solve crimes. This mixing of universes allowed students who were less interested in Sherlock Holmes to find a way to engage with the project. As one student wrote, My interest in Doyle and the Sherlock Holmes world is still at an intermediate level. On the other hand, my knowledge of the Scooby-Doo universe is far greater, and I could enter that verse much easier than the universe of Sherlock Holmes. As a child, I loved the characters of the Mystery Gang, and therefore I really enjoyed this task. Once again, the writing of fan fiction led to vocabulary development. In particular, many students commented on the challenge to their vocabulary or variety of English. As one student explained, First off, I'm highly Americanized in my English use, and I blame Hollywood. It's been a welcome challenge to write in British. My biggest inspiration has once again been the BBC show. I truly enjoyed using the word foggiest in a text, and it is now part of my vocabulary. My American is being invaded. The British are coming. On a final note, this fanfiction project also helped some students develop a deeper awareness of literary techniques, which they were able to identify in Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes mysteries to apply to their own stories. Here's one student's reflection, which highlights the close relationship between language and storytelling that she became aware of. Doyle writes also quite linear with Watson's first-person narrative, which contributes to maintaining the suspense, since Watson, as a limited narrator, is many times as clueless as the reader is, which I tried to keep in mind at all times. I also tried to give my writing a variable rhythm, slowing it down with descriptions sometimes, and speeding it up with action verbs at other times. These specific examples show how fan fiction can be integrated into classroom teaching for the purpose of language development and literary learning by requiring a close connection between reading and writing. I hope this lecture gave you some ideas for how technology is used today for teaching reading. We'll have a chance to work on those a bit more with the activities for this week's lesson.